Hello guys, I'm Brian back again from Wanda Studio Production. Today I'm going to show you how to edit After Effects template. So this tutorial was requested by one of my big fans all the way from UK, Johanna. Adobe After Effects is an animation software and media composting tool from Adobe Incorporated System. This template supports Adobe CC Creative Cloud, not CS, from 2015 to CC 2020. I'm going to show you how to create exactly this one. Huh? It's a template, so I need to edit. First of all, before you edit your template, you need to organize your files. Make sure that your files are easily accessible. Make sure that you have, you have stored your file in an accessible folder. And then, second thing, huh? you need to make sure that you have, so you have a template here. Uh, we have a help file make sure you read this help file before you use any template so i'll open the help file it only contains instructions that can help you what type of fonts you need the links to the music how many placeholders so you can see we have a description description of the template we have many features the resolution we have the link for the music that was used also the placeholders these are the instructions what you need to do. The, the, the software supports Adobe After Effects CC or newer version. These are the placeholder. We have 12 scenes. You need to drag and drop all your footages in the 12 scenes. So this one is helpful because you know exactly how many images do you need, what type of video, how long the video you need before you start editing any After Effects template. So you can see it's the same, same template. I'm using After Effects CC 2019, PS6 installed, and CC 2020. CC 2020, I cannot use it because it will blow my machine. It's a crazy tool. <laughs> so, the CC 2020 requires a very huge graphics card, a 64 GB RAM with 16 GB DDR5 graphics card. I'm running on Koi 5, 4 GB graphics card with 8 GB Intel inbuilt. So, you open the folder. I'll open with what to open with it. Choose your after effect. I'm using version 2019. I prefer 2019 because it's the best and it's very easy and convenient for editing templates and also creating your media. Prefer using Adobe After Effect because it's very user friendly, simple, and has got a lot of effects. Once you open this project, you'll get this message that After Effect must be... Uh, this project was created in earlier version of After Effect, so you need to convert. But nothing will be changed, just click OK. OK, fine. <laughs> we are, so we have missing fonts, so I'm not going to concentrate on fonts. You can download the fonts, they are in the help file. Follow the link, download the fonts. So. For my for my case, I don't want to use that font. I'll just click OK. Next up, book. Next up, black. I don't need them. Just click OK. So you can see we are now in Adobe After Effects. This the, this is our project. You just need to customize it. You edit. So here we have others and edit scenes. You can click. You click edit scenes. We have each scene from scene one to scene twelve need to edit each scene click one we have media one where you need to replace your picture or your video and scene one scene one contains the text so here as you can see when I try to play this video we are having the test business and your media here click on media one these are placeholder where you need to drag and drop your media your picture your logo or your video file to replace this this picture or this watermark with your own media Th that's why i showed you need to make sure that you have you have placed your, your you have stored your project in accessible folder we'll go to file click import and file media in my case this is the media i have, I have pictures all my pictures here and my footages these are the footages that I've trimmed from previous service. Huh? I'll select one, like this one. I drag to the timeline. Then delete this media by pressing delete key. You can see the video is already on my timeline. 
okay, we are now done with replacing the media. The next thing you need to go and replace the text. Go to scene one. You can scroll. You can see what is happening here. We have, we have almost four text. We have Lorem Ipsum is a small text. We have businesswoman co-working. We have videohive.net, which is a website for video hive for filmmakers. Uh. Go here from Envan. You can either delete or replace. You can replace with your logo. So first of all, we need to go to business because this is the large text. I'll edit this one. We just need to write Wanda Studio. Studio. After Effects, just like any other software, it allows you to manipulate the text. You can change the font, font size, colors of your choice. You can select this studio. Play around with the font. We have different font. We have the default Nexa Black, regular or bold. You can, can also increase the font size. Let's see how it is now. I need to remove the logo from Envanto. This small text you can delete. Also delete this text. And then you can try to preview your video. The one was telling me that his machine cannot allow him to preview. If you, if you have such an error, what you need to do, you downgrade from 4K to 720p. Also, you check on your graphics card. Mostly the problem is graphics card. If you are running on a low graphics card, After Effects will not play your video, but it will save. The only thing you need to do, you edit the footage, save, and export using Premiere Pro or Media Encoder. Because it means that your machine is not compatible. The hardware, the hardware is not compatible with the software because After Effects is a very big, it's a crazy software. <laughs> you can play by tapping the space, space bar. Once you play us, you discover that you can watch the preview. So that's how your project will be. It's a nice one. But the problem, if you encounter an, a red error, meaning playing from RAM 13 of 250, it means that this software is big, it's very huge to your hardware. There's, there's incompatibility, the software incompatibility. As you can see, we have FPS, a red watermark, frame rates, not real time. It means that it's not compatible. It's struggling to play the video, but for mine, I prefer editing. I just need to edit the template, I save, and then I will render. So you don't need to preview. You only preview to check for mistakes. If you are running on a low budget computer, just edit everything, export using Media Encoder or Premiere Pro. So this is how you edit After Effects template. Don't forget to support my channel, like, comment, subscribe, share.